We're going to show you how to install a cargo glide unit. This includes the CG1000, CG1200, CG1500, and the CG1800 HD. It also includes the CG2200 HD. The only real difference is the silver frame instead of the black. All it takes is nine easy steps. Step one, inspect shipment. If there's any damage, contact Cargo Glide immediately. Next, cut the straps. Then lift the box top off. We recommend that you cut the flaps of the top box off. Then, by laying the box top in the bed of the truck, you prevent it from getting any scratches. Step two, collect tools. All you'll need is a drill, a tape measure, a crescent wrench, a half inch bit, a 5 16 inch bit, a knife, half inch socket, and a ratchet. Or even better than the ratchet, use an impact driver. Step 3. Locate install kit. You'll find two bags of hardware. One with the tie downs, the other with the bolts, washers, plus nuts, and the plus nut installation tool. Step 4. Position unit. With your helper buddy, lift the unit into the back of the truck. Depending on the unit you've purchased, they weigh between 200 and 260 pounds. After placing the unit in the bed, remove the cardboard. Next, push the unit toward the cab and close the tailgate to ensure proper clearance. After this, pull the unit out to the second stop position and now measure its place in the bed. Start by measuring from the back of the cab to the frame. There should be a minimum of one half inch clearance. And even clearance side to side, both front and back. Step five, drill pilot holes. Start by installing the 5 16 inch bit in the drill. Next, select a hole in the unit that is centered on top of the rib of the bed. Now, drill out the two front holes. Now take two bolts from the installation kit and drop them through the pilot holes. This will keep the unit in place. After this, have your helper buddy extend the unit to expose the center bar. Drill out the remaining two holes. Note, however, that if you have a long bed, there will be one more strap with two more holes to be drilled. Before proceeding, we're going to explain the plus nut system. Plus nuts are easy to install. After the proper installation location has been identified and a half inch hole has been drilled, get the plus nut assembly out of the install kit. The first plus nut assembly is usually already assembled in the install kit. It comprises of the following components. A 5 16 inch by 3 inch bolt, a washer, the plus nut compression tool with the serrations facing the plus nut, then the plus nut itself threaded onto the bolt. Now take this assembly and place it in the half inch hole. Place a wrench on the plus nut compression tool and with a half inch socket on an impact driver, tighten the bolt, keeping the top of the plus nut flush with the bed. In this cutaway, as you tighten the bolt, notice how the lower side of the plus nut mushrooms and fastens itself permanently to the bed of the truck. Tighten the bolt until the plus nut is well seated on the bed of the truck, but do not over tighten. Next, loosen the bolt. Now the bolt, washer, and the plus nut compression tool can be used for the next plus nut installation. 
If you don't have an impact driver, a ratchet can also be used to tighten the bolt. When installing plus nuts, they must be placed a quarter inch from any incline or decline from the flat surface. Further, plus nuts cannot be installed on the incline of the truck bed ribs for two reasons. First, the plus nut will not properly cinch itself into the bed. And second, the bolt fastening the cargo glide unit will thread in at an angle, preventing the fastening holes on your cargo glide frame from lining up. The fastening holes on all cargo glide units are placed to ensure that for most trucks, plus nuts can be installed on the tops of bed ribs. It is not recommended to install plus nuts in the valleys. If the plus nuts are installed in the valleys between the truck bed ribs, in that case, spacers or washers must be installed between the plus nut and the cargo glide frame to prevent the frame from bending. Such bending could prevent your cargo glide unit from opening and closing properly. One final note, only one bolt is needed per tab or per fastening point. Step 6. Drill half inch holes. Start by inserting the half inch bit in the drill. Next, remove the bolts and move the unit back just a few inches. With the pilot holes exposed, now you can drill them out to one half inch. When drilling, be careful not to hit the gas tank or anything else underneath the bed. Step seven, install plus nuts. From the installation kit, take the pre-assembled plus nut assembly Place a crescent wrench on the plus nut tool, then tighten the assembly with the impact driver. After this, back off the bolt, then you can reuse the bolt, washer, and plus nut tool. Now take the bolt, the washer, the plus nut tool with serrations down, then spin a plus nut onto the assembly. Fit this into the hole and tighten down as previously. Notice how the plus nut crimps itself to the bed of the truck. Lastly, repeat this process for the remaining plus nuts. Step 8. Fasten unit. Move the unit over the plus nuts. Line up the holes. Now place a bolt in each of the four holes, or six bolts for a long bit. Remember to use a washer on each of the bolts. After you've started all the bolts, now you can tighten them with the impact driver. Now operate your cargo glide. Pull the latch, release, and check each stop point. The unit should operate smoothly and latch in each position. Step 9. Install high sides. If your unit came with the optional high sides, start by unpackaging them. Remove all the bolts. Now take the front high side piece, lay it down with the lower lip and the groove of the cargo glide unit, and then lift. Then take a side piece, and beyond the end of the truck bed, Place the lower lip into the groove of the unit, then lift it and slide it to the front piece. Now put the bolts in and tighten them with the crescent wrench. Finally, install the tie downs. Just slide them into the groove and spin to tighten where needed. That's it. Just nine easy steps to install your cargo glide unit. If you need more information, look us up on the web at www.cargoglide.com.